Nothing manacles were introduced in Season of the Lost, and they turn your Voidwalker Warlock into a grenade throwing monster. Well, today I'm going to check out the Nothing manacles, look at how to get them, then put together a Warlock PvE build, which is going to be great for enemy dense PvE content. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch This Week in Video Games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, first of all, let's have a look at the Nothing Manacles. So Nothing Manacles are exotic Warlock Gauntlets, and they come with the perk Scatter Charge. So you gain an additional Scatter Grenade Charge, and also it enables tracking for Scatter Grenade Projectiles. Well, the main benefit here is we're going to be getting two Grenade Charges, Plus, you get that tracking too. And the tracking isn't super impressive, to be honest, but it is there, and it does help a little bit. But the main benefit I'm going to be focusing on is the double grenade charge, and this is going to really help us in PvE content if you have to clear out a bunch of smaller enemies. It's worth noting that we've got an Adrenaline Junkie buff coming up too, so any weapons that you've got with that perk could be a very, very good addition to this build. We don't know the details yet related to the buff, so we are just going to have to wait and see. And if you've got any weapons with the perk Adrenaline Junkie, especially if they're void weapons, so I would come back to this build and use a weapon with Adrenaline Junkie when that buff comes out. I think that one's coming in December. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Nothing Manacles in Destiny 2. So Nothing Manacles are one of the new exotic pieces of armor introduced in Beyond Light. Specifically, this season, in Season of the Lost. So, so previous to Beyond Light and these newer armor pieces being introduced, exotic armor was acquired at random through exotic engrams or campaign story content. Well, now we've got a way to target farm exotic pieces of armor through the Legend and the Master Lost sectors. So if you complete these activities solo, then there's a chance that the exotic armor to drop for you. So every day, the Legend and the Master Lost sectors rotate, with two available each day across the planets and the moons. Well, as well as the location for the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors rotating, the rewards they rotate too with different armor pieces for head, arms, chest, and legs. And if you want to check out the location and the rewards, then you can do so in-game by completing the Lost Sectors on regular difficulty, and then check out the map. And the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors are indicated by a blue shield icon. Another good way to check them out, and an easy way, is by using a website called todayindestiny.com, and that will quickly tell you what the location is, plus what the reward is too. So to get nothing manacles, you want to be looking out for the exotic arms reward and then complete the Legend or Master of Sector solo. And if you are a warlock, you'll get a chance for the nothing manacles to drop for you. So if you don't get it the first time, keep trying and you'll get them after a few tries. Well, next up today, let's put together a nothing manacles void walker PVE build. And this build is going to be focused on our void walker warlock. And the build works great in enemy dense activities. For example, Battlegrounds or other seasonal activities like Astral Alignment, plus this build is really good in Strikes and also Gambit too. So first of all, let's have a look at the subclass. So we're going to be using the Attunement of Hunger, and with this one we've got Devour, so kills of the melee ability fully regenerate your health, and for a short time afterwards, kills restore additional health. Then we've got Feed the Void, so consume your grenade energy to regenerate your health, and that grants the Devour effect. And given we've got two grenades, this is going to be really, really useful. We've got Insatiable, so while the Devour effect is active, killing enemies extends its duration and recharges your grenade. Finally, we've got Vortex, so Nova Bomb creates a singularity that continually damages enemies trapped inside, and kills with Nova Bomb grant the Devour effect. So given we've got two grenades, we can take advantage of Devour and Insatiable here, so you can eat your first grenade or get a melee kill to give us the Devour effect. Then you can throw your second grenade, and Insatiable is going to help us recharge that grenade, meaning you can easily throw more and more grenades. Well, next up, let's have a look at the weapons, and you can mix and match the weapons and choose ones that suit you best. The best thing to do, though, is use something with Demolitionist, as that is really going to help you get your grenade back faster. So in the Kinetic Weapon slot, I'm using Thorn, and we've got some really good perks here. We've got Mark of the Devourer, so rounds pierce and deal damage over time, and kills with a weapon leave behind remnants. Then we've got Soul Devourer, so absorbing a remnant strengthens Mark of the Devourer and partially refills the magazine. In the energy slot, I'm using Salvager Salvo, so this one has Demolitionist built in, and it's great for recharging the grenade energy nice and quickly on a kill, 
And also, Salvager Salvo is going to take out plenty of enemies, meaning you're going to get more grenades faster. Finally, in the power slot, I'm using Threaded Needle. So this one is a great power weapon this season due to particle deconstruction. So once you've taken down all the mobs with your grenades, you can then take out the boss with the linear fusion rifle. Finally today, let's have a look at the mods. So first of all, I'm using Grenade Kickstart. So when your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. I'm using Elemental Ordnance, so defeating a combatant with grenade spawns an Elemental Well that matches your subclass energy type. And then I'm using Elemental Charge, so you become charged with light by picking up an Elemental Well. And if the Elemental Well's element type matches your subclass element, you gain two stacks of charge with light. So charge with light is really important. That's going to work with our next mod. That is firepower, so while charged with light, regain a portion of grenade energy when you use your grenade, consuming one stack of charge with light. Then I'm using Bomber, this is on your class item, so this one reduces the grenade cooldown when you're using your class ability. And finally, I'm using Particle Deconstruction, that's going to work really well with my Power Linear Fusion Rifle. So I'm going to be using the mods to supercharge my grenade energy refills. For example, Elemental Ordnance is going to spawn wells when I kill enemies with grenades, which I'm going to be doing a lot, and then using Elemental Charge to become charged with light. So Firepower then kicks in as you regain grenade energy, consuming stacks of charge with light, and this is a really nice loop, because you're going to be using grenades to create more grenade energy. So Grenade Kickstart is also really good, that's going to help you gain even more grenade energy too. So also, you want to be specking into Discipline on this build, as that is also going to help you get your grenade back nice and quickly, and it all adds up to pretty much having your grenade ability all the time, especially when paired with your subclass, and also the weapon perks. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the Nothing Manacles, and also share your builds in the comments with the community. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Nothing Manacles in Destiny 2, Plus, you've got a Warlock PvE build there, and let me know down in the comments what you think. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and for more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.